What's up guys? Today we're going to test out three different types of coil wire in a guitar. So I just watched a video here on YouTube. Uh, it was Dylan Talks Tone and he talks about these three different types of coil wire and how they differ. And uh, basically he was saying that the plain enamel 42 gauge wire sounds the same as the poly 42 gauge wire. The reason for that being is that the wire exa is exactly the same and the insulator on the outside is the same thickness. Therefore, the tone is exactly the same. So these are the three spools of wire that I'll be testing. Uh, this is my 42 gauge plain enamel single build wire. I actually use this on most of the pickups that I make. I like the tone because to my ears it sounds aggressive, it has a lot of clarity. Uh, this is what a lot of vintage pickups were made with so I stick with the vintage stuff. We've also got the 42 poly and uh, you can see it's a little different color. Um, now, these are supposed to be exactly the same thickness of wire and the insulator is exactly the same. So um, the theory is that these should sound exactly the same. And this one, if you're buying five or six pound spools of it, this one can cost more than $100 more than poly. So why would you buy plain enamel? Well. If you want something to be vintage correct, you know, you're fixing an old pickup, then you'd want to go with this. But if you're making new pickups, why would you buy this? Um, and I mean, that's partly what I'm going to test today. No matter what, I'll probably stick with this wire because it is the authentic stuff that I've been using for a long time. And I probably wouldn't change my build process over price. Uh, I want to give my customer the best product they can get. And the last one that we'll be testing is the Formvar 42 gauge heavy build wire. You can see it looks different than the other two as well. Um, this is also an expensive vintage style wire uh, used in a lot of old Fender pickups. Uh, sounds great in Strat and Tele pickups and uh, that's really all I use it for. So by far I use this for m most pickups that I make. The tone of the Formvar wire I would describe as uh, having scooped mids, uh, it favors the lows, and it has a little more of a loose low end than the plain enamel. It has nice rounded highs, and you kind of get that bell-like tone from a Strat pickup that sounds really nice. The plain enamel wire is a little more aggressive, it has a tighter low end, uh, the clarity is super good. Um, I don't really use poly a whole lot, but I would say the clarity is really good with, with this as well. So uh, yeah, I just, I had all three of these, so I figured it'd be fun to do this test. So these are my parts. First thing I'm going to do is build three identical bobbins. <laughs> Next I'm going to tape off the coil to insulate the poles and after that we're going to wind these all with exactly the same number of turns of wire with three different types of wire.
right, so they're all wound with the exact same number of turns, uh, 76, 20 is what I came to. The first thing that I notice is how the form var really fills up the bobbin. That's about all the turns I'd put on there with form var. The other two uh, look pretty normal. Yeah, you could really, you could even feel the difference with your hands. Um, the 42 gauge form var has a, a thicker insulator. So that's the first thing that I notice. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is charge up the magnets to full capacity so that they're all the same. All right, so let's do some tests on these things before we uh, play them. First is resistance. 5.85 for the form bar. 5.89, 5.89 for the plain enamel. 5.83 for the poly, interesting. Inductance. 2.25 Henry's for the form var. 2.22 for the plain enamel. 2.29 for the poly. Interesting. All right, the last one is capacitance in nanofarads. 34.2 nanofarads for the form var. 33.7 nanofarads for the Plain enamel, 34.5 nanofarads for the poly. All right, so I'm gonna test these in the neck position first. Uh, I'm gonna have them all adjusted to uh, 16th of an inch uh, from the string. So I'm gonna depress the strings at the last fret and check uh, the high E and the low E to be a 16th of an inch from the, from the string. The reason for that is uh, it makes a big difference in the tone, how far the pickup is from the strings. Um, I decided not to wax pot these because in a video I did a, a while back, uh, I tested wax, no wax, and lacquer potting, and I found the, the ones with no wax had a bit more clarity, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and test these with no wax. Uh, this is the form var wire on this pickup. Listening back to the tracks, uh, there wasn't any huge surprises for me. Um, everything that I thought before was pretty much confirmed. Our measurements from before didn't really show a huge difference in the three types of wire. Poly had slightly more capacitance, it also had slightly more inductance. Uh, the highest resistance was the plain enamel wire, uh, which that was a surprise. I thought that the form bar would be the highest, but. Um, I mean, they're all pretty much in the same range, and uh, whether or not you'd be able to hear these differences, I don't know. To me, it sounded like the Formvar wire favored the lows, uh, had nice round lows, and uh, sort of a bell-like tone, scooped mids, 
Uh, that was no surprise, you know, you saw that wire on the bobbin and it really, the heavy build wire really fills up. Um, the plain enamel uh, seems to favor the highs and have a lot of crisp, clean highs. Uh, it also kind of has an aggressive tone. Um, and the poly was extremely close to me. Like to me, it sounded very, very close. Um, I'm not really sure if as a player I got as excited about it because it kind of sounds even all around. It's just very like almost kind of dead sounding. So I don't know. For me, I'm going to stick to the plain enamel wire and um, that's the stuff that I like to use the most. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, comment, make any comments if uh, you think I should change anything or if I should have done anything differently. Uh, be sure to check out Dylan's video. Uh, he gets a lot more in-depth on the specs of the, the different types of wire and stuff. Uh, but anyway, this was a really fun experiment, so uh, I hope you liked it. And uh, thanks for watching. Come again.